Hey, what's up guys? Stefan here and it's a beautiful day in Panama. Uh, hanging out by the pool right now with Tatiana, getting a tan. And today is a Saturday, so um, since living here in Panama, one of our rituals has been on Saturdays to get out of the apartment, come by the pool, uh, hang out, read, relax. Um, we also have someone that comes to cook and clean for us on Saturday, so we pretty much got to be out of the apartment anyway. So um, we also have been enjoying uh, doing some shopping, going out and just checking out Panama and and uh, you know having that that balance in your life so I'm gonna share with you guys a vlog of my experience here and uh, behind the scenes of some of the stuff that we like to do and hopefully you guys enjoy it so right now I'm reading a great book called the multi orgasmic man by Mantak Chia um, if you don't know and you're a man that you can be multi orgasmic then you are missing out <laughs> Um, it's definitely a very valuable skill to learn in life when you learn how to separate ejaculation from orgasm. Uh, that's what this book is about. Um, allowing you to learn how to channel your sexual energy in different ways, to channel it up through your body, use it for energy, using it for creativity. Um, if you've ever read the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, he talks about transmutation of your sexual energy. So. Um, I've been studying Tantra now for a while, but this is a great book that kind of sums it up, shares a few different techniques that you can do and, and the practical how-to of doing it. By the way, there's also a book called The Multi-Orgasmic Woman. Uh, there's many different types of orgasms that men and women can have. So um, anyways, fun to learn about. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a video on this at one point. But just like to read here on my Kindle and enjoy this beautiful view, beautiful day here in Panama. So how's this book by David Data? It's actually really good. I like a lot of his books. He's definitely an expert in this field. And so when I do want to learn something more about the masculine and the feminine, uh, I can seek out his knowledge and also some other, some other good uh, people in that field. But it really does come down to polarity. That's what mm. I learned. It's all about polarity. And, it, and once you really master polarity and master when to switch on your feminine, when to switch on your masculine, that's when you can really create that passionate relationship instead of just a friendship. Yeah, so this book, it's a guy thing. It's basically about men, but it's for women. Yeah, so basically what they go through is they um, go through a series of questions. So the most common questions that women ask about men, and then they answer them in the book. So like each section will have a different title. For example, the last one was, how serious are men's sexual fantasies about their female coworkers? And then it does like a couple pages um, answering the questions. So it's really helpful. It's kind of gets to the point. There's not a lot of fluff in it. And I really like it. That's awesome, yeah. For the men out there, the book The Way of the Superior Man by David Data is a life-changing one yeah, too. So one too. it's always important to learn about the opposite sex because we're so different. Mm -hmm. And when you actually understand it, it actually makes sense. Totally, and a lot of people on my Instagram, because on Instagram I always share kind of what I'm learning, and they say, oh, like, is your relationship okay? Because you're reading all these <laughs> relationship books. I'm like, no, no, I'm reading them because I can always improve what's already great. You know, our relationship is amazing, but there's always room for improvement, and why not have the best relationship possible, so. Yeah, well that's the funny thing, like you go to a, I, w I remember once I went to a Tony Robbins seminar with a bunch of friends in LA, like, yeah. 10 years ago, and we're in a taxi driver, and the taxi driver, he, is, he was like, oh, what's this seminar? And we're explaining it to him. He's like, wow, well, like, I didn't know people had so many problems and all this. And it's like, no, like, a, yeah. a lot of people, it's because they want to improve. They want a better life. And the people that I usually find that are learning and growing, it's not that there's anything wrong with them. They just want a better quality of life. They want to keep growing and improving. And here was a taxi driver telling us that. So, <laughs> different mindset. Right, guys so we were gonna go to the Panama Canal today to show you guys that in our vlog but the weather has changed so right now it's pretty cloudy 
And that's the thing about here right now, it's rainy season in Panama, so the weather can change pretty fast. It's still super warm, hot out, but it could be sunny, and then it kind of rains for a little while. It doesn't really rain for long, but kind of changes our plans a little bit. So instead, yeah. we're probably gonna go to the mall. <laughs> uh, they have some really good malls here, really good shopping. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what they've got Just for us. Just hang out. Get, maybe yeah. get a massage. They have those little massage things, the open massage area. Yeah, yeah. So massage. we like to relax, have a little bit of fun. Sounds like there's going to be some lightning right now too. Um, before I left Canada, I got rid of almost everything. So I gave away most of my clothes to the Salvation Army and just kind of been living out of a few, just have a few items, but kind of rebuilding my wardrobe, but not having a lot of stuff, more minimalist, but just having a few, a few really good quality uh, quality items, so yeah. Yeah. I guess let's go to the mall. <laughs> hey guys, so right now we are at Multi Plaza Mall, which is one of the one of the nice malls here in Panama. Uh, got pretty much everything you need. All the designer brands are here. Um, most things you'd find back in North America. It's a really big mall, super modern. I'll show you guys around, but uh, I already bought a pair of jeans. Tatiana's bought. I'm gonna shoes. buy a pair of shoes that they're waiting to deliver them. Yeah, so we're just waiting for those. Um, but yeah, it's doing some shopping. Esta es muy grande. Okay, so these are my options. So I've got a black or a blue or this gold one. Now, I feel like we should post this on your Instagram and ask people and then like come back and <laughs> see what kind of what people say in like 15 minutes. Do like a yeah. vote or something. Right, we'll wait for phone. We're going to get your followers to give us feedback. The black one was the most comfortable and you said it's the most practical, right? Because you can wear more things. sparkly and I feel like I could wear it for special things and then there's this like just so let me know <laughs> we'll wait for the verdict so do you like my purse guys guess how much this purse is this little thing four thousand dollars <laughs> not not today <laughs> Buy like two Louis Vuitton bags for that. Well, it depends on the bag, on the style. Yeah. But yeah, for sure. Put that down. <laughs> okay, so Tatiana decided you're gonna get which one? The black shoe. Yeah. Black is just more practical. I'm just gonna get more use out of it, and I can definitely dress it up for an event or whatever. <laughs> so black it is. You can't go wrong with black. And black never goes out of style. All right guys, just finished up some shopping, bought uh, a pair of shoes, bought some jeans. Tatiana bought some shoes as well. And I'm not sure what else she bought, but yeah. Now we're gonna, the mall's actually closing right now, so we're gonna get a taxi back and um, get ready to go for dinner tonight and uh, maybe go out after that as well. <laughs> we're gonna go out for some food. And then we're gonna go out dancing. All right guys, so we are at Makoto, which is a Japanese, maybe Chinese, I'm not sure, it was right, referred to us by a few people. So it's a Japanese or Chinese restaurant. Uh, really cool environment right now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys what we're gonna get. We love Japanese food, by the way. We love sushi. It's one thing we miss about Vancouver, but in Panama, the sushi's been amazing. In fact, this is one place we've gone has got the best sushi uh, we have ever had. So yeah, it's called Miss Cho. Anyways, we'll share with you guys what we get. Okay, so we've got some crispy Brussels sprouts. And some wine. So we already started eating before I had a chance to. Gracias. Before we uh, 
the chance to do a video, but uh, we got a roll here, and we had some chicken, and uh, yeah, so far it's been really good. And this is Kobe Carpaccio. All right, we're getting ready to go. Alright guys, just here at the gym for a workout. This is my sanctuary here, where I get to work on my body and my mind. Uh, listen to some audiobooks right now. Uh, big fan of the Blinkist app. I've mentioned this in my goals reports. Uh, I like to listen to these uh, book summaries that are about 15 minutes long. And I like to do that to kind of recap on some things that I've already learned, other books I've read in the past. Really great review for it. So, gonna get a good workout in. So one thing I've learned when it comes to money is it's very important to make sure that you know how to manage it. And one method that I learned a long time ago is that 55% uh, of your income you should uh, put towards your necessities, 10% you put towards your financial freedom, so investing business to create more money for you basically, another 10% towards long-term savings, another 10% towards your education, Okay, so investing in yourself, courses, trainings, coaches, 10% for fun, okay? And that's guilt-free shopping, whatever you wanna do with it. If you wanna go to the spa, if you wanna buy shoes, if you wanna, whatever, whatever it is. In our case right now, I'm buying a bunch of stuff. Um, whatever it is, you know, you, that's the reward for the hard work that you put in. You know, when you're adding a lot of value to people's lives, and especially as an entrepreneur, you got to reward yourself from time to time. But the other last 5% would be to giving, contribution. And you can modify it, maybe you want to give 10%, maybe more or less, um, but that's kind of how you have that balance. So you shouldn't feel bad or guilty if you want to treat yourself because, you know, part of it is you got to reward yourself for the work that you're putting in and the progress that you're making. And of course, it's important to give and contribute as well, but you know, you got to make sure that you're having some fun in whatever way that looks like for you. Exactly, the way that you reward yourself is totally different than the way, you know, for myself it's different than the way it is for Stefan, so mm -hmm. to each their own. And practicing abundance actually allows more to flow, flow into your life, right? So don't hoard on to money, um, you know, actually when you buy stuff, that's an act of contribution and that's allowing your wealth and money and finances to be able to spread amongst other people as well. You know, giving or supporting other businesses or um, you know, other people that are creating products or services and solving problems, you know? So that's what money can allow you to do as well. So that's how I look at it. All right, 